Hey guys, it's me, Anton, or Antonus Prime. It's a week ago since AA, since I was checking in that Hilton to start an epic weekend, and it truly was epic. Second year at Auto Assembly has been amazing. It is totally blown my first year away, and it's just took it to a different level. Everything about AA this year for me worked. I met some amazing people. I picked up some great stuff, some great guests were present, and it was just all around. I got more involved, and it was just maximized. I couldn't, it couldn't get any better for me. Apart from maybe getting really drunk, but then again, I'd missed out on a lot of stuff and probably fall asleep. Auto Assembly 2013. I'm known for my jazz hands, but it's good. It's nice now I've got a little queer. Um, I met I've met a lot of you great people. I've watched you for months on YouTube to find the CEOs in the flesh. Is just something else. Jim, you are the daddy. You are absolutely awesome. Um, I am so glad I met you. You, uh, the likes of Ed, your smile is so contagious. Never ever give that up. Stu, mighty Grimlock, you're a tall man. But you are so cool at the same time. You're just absolutely fantastic. Ben, the juice, I was so glad to bump into you. Um, I'm glad you got your iron fist sorted. Um, I hope you had an amazing weekend. Your haul is just exquisite. It's unbelievable. Rob, um, Fallen 835, you are a top guy. I hope you are absolutely memorized by your Hexatron. Um, it, was an, it was a pleasure to meet you. Little Tom Army Reviews. Great, you know what, you made me feel so old as well as everyone else we were talking to on that Saturday night. Fantastic. Uh, Brad, Exilian, I only watched started watching you a couple of months ago, but you make me laugh so much. And uh, we had a good little waffle at the bar on uh, either and everywhere we kept bumping into each other. Um, I just want to say good luck with your teaching come this September. You, you know what, you've got a passion for it. You're absolutely an outstanding guy. I'm so pleased to meet you. Among everyone else, Phil, Rat Trap 25, um, you're our top guy. I met you for the first time last year. Uh, I didn't get to speak to you much, but this time around, you were just amazing. Shame you had to leave so early, but you know what? Understandables we've got. We've all got commitments we work and stuff like that. But stay next year, man. Thrill 30, you can't leave. I'll handcuff you. Not in a kinky way though. Um, but you are awesome, man. Um I met you, you know, I'm gonna say, I've gotta say a big thank you to like the likes of Sam, Mr. Nosley and Tony because you guys last year were sort of the first the people I really connected with. You showed me about, you know, I had I had drinks in your room, stuff like that. And this year I got to know you a heck of a lot better. Tony I know you were busy flirting around doing other things, but you know, next year, me and you, bar, top stuff. But John, you are absolutely a warming guy, connective, just so, you know, really there for everyone, and you're awesome, man. I, I honest, I love you, man. You're total, you are the dog's bollocks. Um, But all of you, everyone who I've mentioned who I, I bumped into, you are absolutely fantastic. Um, you have made that weekend. The people are what makes AA. It should be triple A, not double A. Um, you're amazing, all of you. I look forward to watching more of you on YouTube, and I can get that sense of, you know what, I know you are now. I've manhugged you. I breathe the air you breathe. You're, you're absolutely fantastic. Um, I picked up some great stuff as well. You know, I got I, me. I only went there with a little list. I got what I wanted. Um, and I picked up a few extras as well as like a big Brucey bonus, which was like, uh, a first now it was a very, very last minute purchase, but we're going to the hall in a minute. AA, the convention itself, Steve Bloom, Dan Gilbs and Neil Kaplan are absolutely a trio that really bounced off each other. They were absolutely fantastic. Steve Bloom is by far phenomenal. Uh, Dan Gilbs is it is always an emotional time. Oh, I literally depend on how connected you are. 
for 30 years we've nearly watched we we've known about bumblebee and to meet it was the same as last year to meet a perceptor to meet prowl to meet g1 people icons you have followed for so long to finally see the face behind the animation the voice behind the the volkswagen is just powerful stuff it hits you right there it's like you know, like I was saying about values, it's a value you, you you will never get rid of. And to shake hands and see this, you know, this iconic little bumblebee is just, is just amazing. It's just amazing. You know, Steve Bloom, again, is phenomenal. Um, I, out of all the guests, I really wanted to see Neil Kaplan um, because Neil Kaplan, Played R.I.D. in two thousand two thousand one, uh, Transformers. It was the first real reincarnation of sort of who we seen sort of the Red Optimus since sort of the of Beast Wars had ended and stuff like that. And I was so happy to meet Neil Kaplan because you know he it was that that particular series that really got me back into Transformers and and just to see some characters revived. Uh, so you know what Neil Kaplan. It was absolutely brilliant. It was brilliant to see you, brilliant to meet you, shake your hand, and for you to get to sign my G, my R.I.D. Optimus. Um, the guests as well. I didn't get to meet Nick Roach this time. Um, because you know he he was. I think I was just busy being with people, talking to people more than what I was last year. But I got some signatures, and it was you know what, fantastic. It was just brilliant it was just brilliant uh, i've got to say the, the the podcast panel that uh time lord and a lot of the others you know with jim iconic reviews that was really so inspiring really great i really loved sitting there here now to get started and stuff so you know what i may dive into that later on in the year and um, but see how it goes uh but that was a really great panel so thank you for that guys cosplay you guys who make these costumes off it's just brilliant i wish i had the time but then again i may do it next year but i haven't i don't know what character but i might it's it's honest but you guys who put all that effort in deserve you know medals and stuff because some of them are just phenomenal some of them are lazy i'll say that some of them are just lazy and don't put any effort but it's a good sort of mock-up um a parody if you will but at the same time you guys who put that extra effort transforming costumes what is all that about that's amazing so you know what top thumbs up for you guys um what else aa just flowed this year all the kinks that were in last year come together and just flowed swears bar is the great is a, a great example you know segregating sort of the convention to what High price to Hilton charges for a fish finger butty. No thanks. I'm not paying 12 quid or whatever it is for a, a fish finger butty. But Twares Bar, great themed. And it was just it was just a nice little selection and cheaper than what you'd get in the Hilton anyway. So that was great. Um, but it goes out to you people, the people who come to the convention and mingle and spend your money and just... The YouTube family gets together. Old, new, newbies. I hope you all loved it. And it, I had a blast of time. I just cannot wait till next year. Uh, and to see all you guys throughout the year. Commenting on your comments on YouTube. It's like family coming together. And there's no there's no awkwardness. There's, there's just... There's just YouTube there and it's fantastic. It's connectivity at its finest. Without rambling anymore, let's get to the hall because this is what everyone goes for. Everyone goes for their piece of plastic. But I'm going to go through my hall first. I'm going to go through my signatures and then onto like the big plastic and what I wanted. So... Let's go into the hall and signatures. So this year, I really sort of picked up a few mementos to do with auto assembly. Um, I didn't pick up as many posters this time, and I didn't get as many signatures. And I say that it's probably going to work out even as it did last year. But I was, you know what? I was just happy. I got what I wanted, 
and you know what? I'm happy. I'm chuffed. Um, and I have been opening it. I haven't kept them in boxes. Um, uh, that mold's gone now. I am terror dive is coming off the wall and getting opened because not just Ray made me do it. Ben made me do it. Who else? You know, all of his made me do it. Jim gave me some really good advice. While I was there, he said, listen, get hold of it. Why you can't play with it? And it did. I played with Terror Dive while I was there. And it was taken. It is an awesome mold. I'm going to leave Death Charge, the one I showed in my last vid, um, to last. Because I believe the guy who, who done Shockwave's Prime uh, voice actor also done Death Charge and Beast Wars. So he is getting signed. So you know what? Smith, Dave, Smith, no. You got him. I can see your excitement because that's how I feel. But I'm not going to open him because it's tearing my hair out doing it. But no, Terror Dive, I've, exper I've experienced the mold. I want it. It's out. So yeah, let's go. Hall. Um, I'm not going to go in any random order. I'm going to get the paper out the way, the signatures out the way first. So, uh, Andrew Griffin was one of the guys there who really went has went down to all this sort of Robot in Disguise series, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3. I got him to sign all of them um, on the inside page because he had a lot to do with Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, as much as he had to do with Volume 3, but he, a lot of covers and artwork was just mainly done by him, not the actual stories. So Andrew Griffin was... I got them signed by him, so that's always good to have. Um. Jean Paul Bove or Bowell or whatever you call him. His table had this piece of excellent art. This is uh, the all the sales of the series of uh, it, pay, it pays homage to Transformers uh, not Transformers. Star Wars, but it's done in the Transformers sort of light. So that was brilliant. I got some by Jean Paul because I love it as cool one. I've said that when I first met him last year, I, I you know I said it, and I loved the way he colours, um, and that was great. So I got signed by Simon Fairwell, the legend, um, and I also pinpointed to Simon about, I, I've always been interested in Transformers mythos, the mythos behind it, and he created a character a couple of years back called Primon, which was stated to be, I'm not going to get into this because I'm going to save it, uh, Primon was before the original 13 was conceived by Primus, um, but they killed him off. In like two pages, saying the least maximal ripped the matrix out of him. But I've I know I've went up and down, and I I just talked to him about him. And he said we'll see more coming um as regeneration goes on about the past of Cybertron thirteen. So that's quite cool, possibly a spoiler, but cool. Um, so that was great. A uh, signature wise again. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? I got ooh, Dan Gilberson. The postcards, the official, the postcards that you get with your attendee pack. Got a signature off him. I also, this is one of my parts of the haul. I got this little cute guy. Oh, look at him. It's a little mini bumblebee. Uh, this is a new guy. He's, he's vinyl. He's quite a bobblehead. And he's sort of next step up from Creo's really in cuteness. You get a little blaster and so on. Um, But I didn't really have that on Bumblebee. So I bought this. And I got it signed. I got the back of his head signed. Which is a uh, quite cool. So I was happy to get that signed by Dan, and he is an awesome guy. Like I said, it's an, always an emotional connection when you've watched these guys for nearly thirty years and you you meet them in the flesh. Um, also signed, as a lot of you people might know, my Bumblebee hoodie, which I got a lot of praise for, which was quite cool. Um, but I had to buy that a couple of weeks before because I didn't really have not a Bumblebee, and I got that signed by. Dan and Simon Fairman as well. So that was great. And that, that way the charm. So that was great. Steve, I know you said you, you're after one. Um, I'll happily pick one up for you and post it off to you. And do the business. But that was epic as well. Uh, Steve Bloom. Uh, another great guy. I got my R.I.D. Uh, Starscream signed. You can see a signature inside. Um, that was good. And I also got my boxed dark scream of course R.I.D. being one of my favourite uh, series as well as my second best Optimus Prime 
Um, I've got this signed. What is it? Ooh. There you go. I think. There you go. Hey, signed. So that's nice. And then a lovely little trio. And I love them guys. Annoying. They're like the three stooges, but cool at the same time. Uh, signature again. Neil Kaplan. How could how could I not? This guy is truly awesome. And on there he says, um, Anton. What's the thing? I can't even read his writing. Great to meet you. Such a grand fan as you. Top chat. Transform and roll out. So that you know, I love these postcards. This art, lovely. And is it Ed Perry who does this art? I have a, ta a, a tattoo of Crimson on mine. Um, I was talking to Ed about tat about commission tat like art so I can get tattoos on me. So I'm happy with that. Last thing, Jeff. Oh, I tell a lie. R.I.D. Optimus Prime, one of my favorite Optimus, and this is an awesome toy. If you haven't got this, pick this up. This is an awesome toy. Um, he's been out the box a long time, but on there you've got you won't be able to see it, but it's got his motto of Optimus Prime, which is "Evil is a fire that must be extinguished." Neil Kaplan, thanks. That's awesome. That's there. That's staying in the box for the time being, but that's that that that's something else. Um. Again, I picked off Ed's table, Swerve's bar. I love Swerve. Swerve's great in the uh, more than meets the eye. But that's great. you got uh, two ants on, drink up and get out. So that's pretty awesome as well. Um, what else again? Good paper. I got monstr Monstrosity uh, issue th uh, number three. That's cool. And I love the artwork off this. It's again, great artwork. So that's really all for like the paper side of things anymore. I'll just shift your way. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah, I got the convention t shirt, which a lot of people are walking around, but this is great again. Great art, and it's good that we've got the convention t shirts going out there. So, you know, I wear that with pride. So that's pretty, pretty damn cool. Um, more let's get plastic, plastic, and this is what. A lot of people would have went for, and it's good. No particular order. Thirtieth anniversaries were on my hit list, and I end up getting them. You now you got your Megatron. Got that there. You got your Megatron. Yeah, IDW ones. Megatron. Trail cutter, which is cool with the comics as well. So that's pretty awesome. And I have opened Bumblebee. What would be quite cool. I was a bit disappointed though. Uh, I felt that they went a bit lazy on him. Uh, but he's a he's a, a nice little figure. But again, a bit lazy. The, the design of him feels a bit lazy. Orion Pax. Oh my god. This guy is awesome. This figure is amazing. I opened this guy yesterday. And I was... I did not put him down for hours. Articulation. Um, just... The way he looks, proportion, lovely, he, 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 awesome figure. If you haven't got this guy, pick him up. Um, I'm going to do a review on this guy as soon as I can. But great guy. Small, I like the smallness of him. He should be small. He's a Ryan Pack before he come off from his prime. Great, great figure. Oh, daddy. Great, great figure. Loved him. They're the four I got first time. Pre-order I had from Kapow uh, was... Rapat. I forgot what I was going to say then, that's why I went quiet. Rapat. Senator Rapat. Pre war Rapat. I love pre war. Anything to do with pre war mythos, anything like that. I haven't got the original sketch. I was looking around for them, but couldn't find them. This is an awesome mold. Why have I missed out on this? I have no idea. Um, it is lovely in every way. This purple is beautiful. The gold trimmings. A frightening because it's very fragile. Uh, but this is an awesome, awesome figure. Um, weapon storage and wings. What's all that about? I, I don't know if Scage has that. Um, but the head sculpt is particularly lovely. The little bat. Looks like something voltron -y. Um, But this is really a lovely figure. Again, opens it. Done. Need to be done. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Um, one that wasn't on, on that. Oh, let's not forget. 
convention exclusives. Bloody light. I apologize about the light in the foreground. Um, this is Robot Manuel X and the other one, Shared Convention uh, exclusive from TFCon, I believe, is Robot Basil Z. These guys are repaints of the Apex and Gemnus from Mech Ideas. Am I correct? Yeah, Mech Ideas. Um, and they're awesome. These are awesome figures, and the bios are particularly funny. It's a it's a faulty tower rip off, um, and it's it's fantastic. And I might just put their bios off for anyone who doesn't know what the bios are. I might just do a quick slideshow of the bios because these are these are fantastic figures, and it's quite quite comedic that they've placed these uh, two figures in time. So that that's been for first uh, also simply exclusive. I look forward to what they're gonna do next year. So that was that's good stuff. Tea spray. I wanted this guy for a while, didn't really bother because I wasn't going to pay 30 quid for him, 25 quid for him, got him for 15 quid at the convention, brand new, bargain, mine. Um, so I look forward to seeing him opened, twilling with him and snorting going, but yeah, I was uh, chuffed with that. Uh, I see, he got me a little bumblebee, which is awesome. And what else? What else? What else is about? Yeah, I picked up a Igear Mini Warrior. Um, this is Swerve. Um, this was the disappointing purchase of the day of oh, of the convention. He's shit. He's abysmal. I don't like it. Um, clunky. And it's not even red. Um, I've I've had them out the box once. Transformed them once. Put them straight back in. And he might get the evil bay. I don't know because he's he's garbage. I don't like it. I I was disappointed. Um, but I got I got him knocked down. So, you know, no, I don't like him. I don't like him. Upgrades, as you know, I'm a big fan of repo labels and Doctor Who and every other upgrade that can make the figures look just a bit a tiny bit better. Um, I picked up these guys. You might not be a saint. This is Rear Guard, and these are, if you guys have watched my Dr. Wu shoulder cannon upgrade for Starscream, Thundercrack, and Skywarp, now my cone heads have got it. Thrust, these, these, these upgrades look awesome. All in proportion again, really lovely. Uh, thrust, Ramjet, and last but not least, Dirge. And great little add ons. I love them. I'll be doing a review with these. Uh, and just make the figures look so much better. Uh, play mode looks awesome as well. Um, that's really all I got. Um, but there was one, and this is the biggie. This is this, this is the biggie that I debated about, and debated about. But it was the first thing I seen when I went into the hall, and I went, I want it, and. I said, I think I said to a few people, I want a big bot. I want something big. Metroplex was like, I think, the big bot for a lot of people. And I turned it down. I didn't want it. I wanted to see what it looked like. Didn't get the opportunity. But he's not out of reach. So I haggled at the last point. And this, we're talking last point. Kapow had packed away by this time. The hall was packing away. And I haggled with, I can't remember what shop it was. It was the same one, I think, with the exclusives on. And I haggled them. Got it down a bit. But I'd been talking about this a day before to a friend. And uh, I got this. This is the San Diego Comic Con G.I. Joe Transformers crossover. Uh, this is Hound. No, that's Hound. That's Jeff Fire. Uh, Sky Stalker and I can't remember the G. What's the G? I don't know. I'm not too sure on the GI Joes. Um, but this is a gorgeous set. It's big. Um, just turn it around. I'll show you there. I've got on side so you get that picture. You get a huge Sky Stalker and Jeff Fire with an add-on 
to make it look like jet fire. The Jeep is pretty big as well. Obviously, they don't transform. Uh, but as I've only, I haven't touched these yet. Yeah. But let me just show you the figures on the side to get with this guy. If you can see there, we got a lovely Baroness with a Ravage, and that Ravage is phenomenal. Snake Eyes, you get a Cyber Samurai in the form of Bludgeon, and you get a little tape deck of Blaster, who are brilliant. Now, let me just show you the size of the body for the plane. Um, as I said, I've got it out, but this is just the body. This is just the body of the plane. Um, give you an example of plane size. That's the booster. That's how big it is. That's how big it is. Um, I haven't put the wings on yet, but this connected with that is a pretty damn big toy. Um, probably I wouldn't be surprised far off the Metroplex that everyone was getting. Um, obviously you have the huge big red booster that sits on back um, but this thing is absolutely fantastic little gimmick and I'll just spoil this for everyone press the top, just leave it on top and it goes <laughs> little wings come out and the wings deploy and everything but I say you got Hound in that as well, Green Jeep along with your figures uh, Samurai, the Bludgeon and you get the Ravage in there as well with a little blaster you can just see. But that was my big, big purchase. And it was more expensive than what the Metroplex was going out as. But I'm happy with it. At first, I was like, uh. But, yeah. That's it. That's my haul. That's what I got. And I'm happy of it. And I'm happy of what AA has turned out like. And I'll be watching all you guys. But... I've had a, uh, an amazing time. Happy with me haul. Top stuff. Thanks for watching, guys, and you have made it. So, I'll see you all on YouTube very soon. And I'll see you at 2014 Auto Assembly. <laughs> Ciao, guys. Take it easy.